Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So upon request from many of you, today we are gonna be sharing with you what we're eating this fall, specifically for Thanksgiving and the holiday season. So we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about what seasonal produce to put on your shopping list this time of year and we're gonna dive into some of our tried and true favorite recipes we've shared in previous YouTube videos that we've enjoyed over the years with friends and family, a couple blog post recipes in there as well. We're also bringing you a couple of new staple recipes you will not want to miss out on. They're so simple and so good. They're pumpkin spiced, they're saucy, they're savory, we've got it all. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a delicious feast. You guys are probably wondering, what are we making today? Mashed potatoes and gravy. And I don't know about you guys, but it's not easy to find a vegan gravy. They're all mushroom gravies, which if you aren't a huge mushroom fan, kind of poses a dilemma. A good gravy is not just essential, it's like, Best. We're gonna do a one pot wonder bread. So this is gonna be a four ingredient, super crispy, crunchy bread. We've actually never done a bread recipe before, so we're super excited for this one. We're also making some pumpkin hummus to go with our crispy, crunchy wonder bread that is gonna be to die for, or as Aaron says, to live for. And then we're gonna do an epic dessert, which is a pumpkin spice ice cream. Max asks every single night if he can have ice cream now after dinner. And of course, we make it with bananas, so it's a nice cream and it's absolutely delicious. You guys are not gonna wanna miss these three. So if you're wondering where we get our inspiration for recipes, look no further. The plant-based bundle is back. Essentially, you're getting over 100 plus eBooks, courses, content, all of it is plant-based and it's only for $50. And Dusty and I will be doing what we love to do most, giving away a Vitamix blender to one lucky winner who purchases the bundle from our link. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not. Take advantage while it's hot. It's only around for the next 10 days, depending on when you're watching this video. So you don't have very much time. We'll put everything linked below in the description. Maybe you've purchased a bundle in the past. I will say there is always fresh content. It's definitely worth checking it out again. And even if you only want our ebook or two or three ebooks, it's still a very worthy investment. You're still saving tons of money. If you're wanting a way to organize your meals, you should definitely check out the Eat Move Rest meal planner. So we just launched it a couple weeks ago. We've been getting rave reviews from our Eat Move Rest fam, and we could not be more proud to present you guys with all of our recipes updated monthly in one spot. We've also provided a link below in the description so you can learn more about our meal planner. So this is so many people's favorite time of year because it's all about food, family, and fun. Max and I just went to the grocery store yesterday and stocked up on all things fall food. So you might want to jot all of these things down on your grocery list. We got sweet potatoes, beets, giant carrots, Brussels sprouts, red and green lentils, a whole loaf of Ezekiel bread for some super yummy stuffing. We got red and yellow potatoes for some epic mashed potatoes. We've got squash, pumpkins, pomegranates, which are amazing to top a salad. Speaking of salads, kale is in season, so we got amazing dino and curly kale. Crisp, crunchy, and spicy arugula. Those greens are so tasty and super healthy. Apples are always the best this time of year. And citrus, which is especially good now that we're here in Florida. We're seriously loving all the food and can't wait to make some super good recipes for this upcoming week, Thanksgiving and holidays. So I have been digging through the archives on our YouTube channel and on blog posts to find and gather all of our favorites from over the years that we've created because even though there's only gonna be three of us eating this Thanksgiving feast, we are still gonna feast. Anything that I mention will be linked below so you guys can reference and compile your own Thanksgiving recipes. If you guys have been following us for a while, then you know last year around this time, we spent Thanksgiving in California. We made an epic Thanksgiving video while we were there with three super good recipes. So favorites to start with would be our citrus, pomegranate, and walnut salad. This is simple and light. It's a great starter. If you want a heartier salad, we have our butternut squash, pomegranate, and quinoa salad. We absolutely love adding quinoa for an added boost of protein. I cannot go without a good butternut squash bisque. 
It's so warming, it's so smooth, and again, it can be super light or you can make it a little heartier with some cashew cream or coconut milk. We've got that on the blog. A staple that we bring to every family gathering is our herb roasted root veggies. So we usually get a couple different varieties of sweet potatoes and toss those in there, chop up some beets. Sometimes we do carrots in there, sometimes Brussels sprouts, but for sure those sweets and beets. This one is easily one of our favorites. We've also made some roasted mini squash stuffed with quinoa risotto. So this quinoa risotto is to live for. It is so good, you would not believe there's not dairy in it. It tastes cheesy and rich and creamy, but it's not high in fat and it's high in protein. So definitely a winner. Another one that's on the lighter side is our garlic mashed cauliflower. So if you haven't tried mashed cauliflower, you've definitely got to try it if you're trying to stay on the low cal side of things. We've done two different stuffing varieties. So we've done just a plain, straightforward, whole grain Ezekiel bread stuffing with organic Ezekiel bread. It's so phenomenal. And then we bumped our game up last year and we took that Ezekiel bread and we made an apple and sweet potato stuffing. So having that in there was even more hearty. It added a little bit more oomph to it, a little sweetness with the saltiness. It was such a good mashup. If you're looking for a good laugh and a good mock meat type of recipe, look no further than our vegan lentil loaf. That one was seriously fire. And we've got Three really amazing desserts you guys will want to incorporate as well. So number one is my raw vegan pumpkin pie. It's so good, especially the crust. I love it all. Last year we also made an epic vegan apple crisp. That one Max really enjoyed. I think we all loved that one. And finally, on the blog, I made apple pie cheesecake bites. These ones, you guys, so, so good. Those are from the archives. We're gonna make a playlist for you guys. You can click and piece together your own Thanksgiving menu based on these. So we're gonna start with our one pot Wonder Bread because it does have to sit in a bowl covered for eight to 24 hours. So you probably wanna prep this one ahead of time. All you're gonna need is three cups of all-purpose flour. We actually found an all-purpose gluten-free flour made with brown rice and millet and other grains. We're excited to try it out. You'll also need two teaspoons of kosher salt, not table salt, half teaspoon of active dry yeast, and one and a half cups of lukewarm water. Oh, so remember we want it yeah. to be fluffy and have air pockets in it. So when the dough looks yeah. shaggy like this, you should be yeah. good. So we're just gonna cover it with plastic and let it sit overnight. Hey guys, day two, new do. Once your bread has sat overnight, you're then going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's preheated, you'll pop your Dutch oven into the oven for 30 minutes to warm. We are using an enameled cast iron pot. If you don't have one of those, you can use a pizza stone with a oven safe dish placed on top, or you can use a baking dish covered in aluminum foil. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Meanwhile, we're going to place our dough onto a well floured surface and cover it lightly with some plastic. So the dough will be very sticky, but you can easily shape it into a dough ball with well floured hands cover it with plastic until our Dutch oven is preheated. So Dusty keeps asking me if I'm gonna work the bread. This is a no need bread recipe, which means don't work the bread. <laughs> That's actually convenient. This is a super simple recipe and we don't want our bread to be dense. If you work it too much, it will be dense. We want it to remain fluffy and light and airy and have those pockets in it so it's enjoyable. So once the Dutch oven or your surface is preheated, take it out, put your dough onto the surface, cover it for 30 minutes in the oven, and then take it out, and then we're gonna uncover it, pop it back in the oven for another seven to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. This is where you'll want to watch it like a hawk, and make sure you notice when it starts to get that nice, crisp, golden brown surface, and then it's ready to remove. You can take it off of your heated surface, place it onto a wooden cutting board, and slice and enjoy. Okay, how's it look? You might call it amateur, but I prefer artisan. So it's very artisanal, as you can see. I think we're pretty pleased with it, especially for being a gluten-free flour. We were kind of going out on a limb there. So yay for first time bread makers. I can't wait to try more. It looks good. Dusty said he's gonna eat the whole loaf. Once you become a homemade bread connoisseur, like I'm sure that we will, you can start to play around with add-ins. So you'll wanna mix them in with the initial mixing of the dough, just so you don't have to knead these ingredients in. So you could add in herbs and spices, 
nuts, dried fruit, whatever your heart desires. Our mashed potatoes are gonna be a mashup of yellow and red skin potatoes. They're both delicious and offer a slightly different texture and flavor, but are both super good for you. We're gonna put some garlic in there and then some healthy fats. So we've done it three ways. You can use a coconut cream to put in your mashed potatoes. You can use avocado, but if you don't wanna scare your family away with green mashed potatoes, you can do what our friend Ari mentioned when she was over the other night, which is a combination of miso and tahini. This is gonna be like the closest thing to butter, and we can't wait to try that. We're gonna chop three or four cloves of garlic, depending on how garlicky you like it. Chop it and dice it super, super fine. Throw that in with your potatoes and just simply boil them. I don't cut the potatoes or anything. I just boil them real good smash them hard and then like we said we're gonna add our vegan butter so if you're like us and store-bought butter is not your thing even if it's vegan butter then look no further than this simple two ingredient butter miso and tahini you're gonna use them in a one to two ratio one part miso two parts tahini the tahini will add that healthy fat component and the miso will add that salty savory goodness so when you combine the two you have the perfect spread if you want it to be a little bit more of a dip and less of a thick spread you can add just a splash of liquid like soy milk Thanks to our friend Alan for the bread inspiration and our friend Ari for the miso tahini butter. So if you guys have been following for a while, you know we do have an oil-free classic hummus recipe. You can find it in our ebook and on our meal planner. But today we're going to pumpkin pie our hummus. This is such a good rendition. You're gonna need one and three quarters cups of cooked from dry chickpeas, or that's simply one can drained and rinsed. We're gonna need two tablespoons of tahini. Those are our two core ingredients. Then we're also gonna need one teaspoon of salt, pepper to taste, and then you'll need one cup of canned pumpkin puree. You can also add in a dash of garlic powder or we're gonna use one garlic clove. You're gonna throw everything into a food processor or a mini blender. Blend up with a little bit of water until we get it nice and smooth and creamy. So typically with hummus, I just say to add water as needed or you could use broth, anything to get it to blend really smooth and creamy and not lumpy and bumpy. So add water sparingly just until you get enough to blend it properly. So the reason hummus is a staple in our household is because it's basically just protein and healthy fat. Your two main ingredients are chickpeas and tahini, so you can't go wrong. You could almost add a little bit of vegetable broth and puree this into more of a soup consistency and enjoy it that way. It's very kid-friendly, Max loves it. He loves to dip carrots in it, dip tortillas, spread it on bread. So this is definitely a staple, especially around the holidays when you're feeding a family. So I cannot believe this is a recipe we haven't covered in a past Thanksgiving video already. This is our vegan gravy. It's so simple, there's only five ingredients, and it's a staple, right? Honestly, we drizzle this on our entire plate, not just on the mashed potatoes. Since this recipe is oil-free, like all of our recipes, we're gonna add two tablespoons of water to a pan, heat it on medium, and then we're gonna add in a quarter cup of gluten-free flour. We prefer brown rice flour. Trust the process. So it might get a little lumpy, but as soon as that heats for one to two minutes, then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of our tamari, which is gonna give it its savory, salty flavor. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one cup of plant milk. We're gonna be using unsweetened soy milk. If you don't do soy, you can also use an unsweetened almond milk. About a minute later, we're gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth. We're gonna whisk away on medium heat. In about five minutes, you should see it all turn into one nice, even consistency and begin to thicken up. Once it starts to thicken a little bit, you can turn the heat off and as it sets and cools, it will thicken even a little bit more. Again, we are keeping it simple and basic with our spices. We don't have a lot on hand where we're at, but you can also add in things like sage, rosemary, thyme, or even just garlic and onion powder if you wanna give it a little bit more oomph. But it's gonna taste amazing as is too. Thank you. Some cookies ice cream. Last but not least, dessert. Max's favorite part, everybody's favorite part. We're gonna be making some pumpkin spice nice cream. So not just ice cream, this is dairy-free banana nice cream. It's nicer to your body. It's the food that loves you back. All you're gonna need is six to seven frozen ripe speckled bananas, one cup of pumpkin puree, a splash of plant milk. We're gonna use unsweetened oat milk. You can also use coconut cream or coconut milk if you want it to be a little bit more rich and 
fatty and creamy like regular ice cream. And then the star of the show is Sun Warrior's limited time flavor pumpkin spice warrior blend. We love the warrior blend, it's our favorite protein. Sun Warrior is our favorite for all things plant-based protein and supplements because they are raw, they're vegan, they're certified USDA organic, they get the job done, especially because we are all super active. We love to have the added boost into our morning shakes, smoothies, and yes, nice cream. The other one that we cannot get enough of is their collagen building protein peptides. So they actually have a limited edition peppermint bark flavor of that as well. This would also make phenomenal nice cream with just bananas and this added in. So enjoy these holiday flavors. Get them while you can. You can use Eat Move Rest for 20% off. It will be linked below in the description. Mm. Proceed with caution. He's learned. <laughs> So yummy good. Yummy good. Wow. <laughs> Hang on, bud. All right, you guys, so hopefully you dive into some of our past recipes. For sure, check out these staples. Get Sun Warrior 20% off with our code below. You guys will not regret it. This was such an epic lineup. We can't wait to dig in tonight for dinner because now it's made. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We're so grateful for our Eat Move Rest fam. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 